And we are back with another episode of Who's That Fraud? Now this is the series where we plan to go through basically every single category in the game and then use it against some of the new difficult content of the time and then whatever unit gets us killed is the fraud of the episode. Today we are using the artificial life form team. Now this is gonna be really bad because I don't have a leader for this team. The only leader that, I, that I've got is this guy but he only gives 130% because he doesn't have his easy A over on global yet. So I am not looking forward to this and I don't have gamma 1. If I had gamma 1 that would be a lot better if I had both the gammas but I unfortunately I don't so we are gonna struggle with this right off the bat let's take LR physical cooler for the revive that could be useful sure we'll take this guy is he baby Janemba yeah for for sure for the dodge if he gets hit we're dead but we'll take him for the dodge after that I'll take incel because he's probably the best unit that I've got here and then I'll take Physical Cell with him. Hopefully we can get these two on rotation together. Because Physical Cell will have type advantage in the first phase. And then I still need one more unit. And I really don't know who to take if I'm being honest. I'm looking through it and the only unit that comes to mind. I would prefer to take a dodging unit. I would want to take this guy. Actually, I think I will take him for the dodge. How much dodge chance does he have? Is it a high chance? Yeah, he's got a 50% chance to dodge for the first 7 turns. So I will actually take him. Hopefully, I can get lucky with him. Unfortunately, he does not have full dodge. He doesn't have any dodge for that matter. So, yeah. He's got a 50% chance there. But other than that, he's gonna struggle. He's gonna struggle. Let's see what happens here. That's the team I'm going with. Do you know what? Now that I look at this, I'm feeling somewhat confident. Not really. So I'm looking at the rotations and we have baby and that is really bad. Please let there be a slot where I'm not being hit. Please, please. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, let's go. Okay, Dogon. Slot three, put baby there right away. Because he's not easy eight. So he'd get a one shot off a normal. With bit super baby though, we do need to dodge. Because if he doesn't dodge, we're dead. Like, straight up, we're dead. Incel should be somewhat okay. Certainly on normals, he'll be okay. Let's just see what happens. Just AGL Super Janemba. Please dodge. Please dodge. Please dodge. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? And he's being super. Oh. <laughs> that is exactly why he's here. That is exactly why he's here. And then I don't foresee any more trouble for the rest of this rotation because Baby is not being attacked. Yeah, double digits as expected. Very, very well, triple digits technically. But either, well, double there. Either way, we take it, we take it. So I'll put LR physical cell slot 1 where he's not being hit. Gamma 2 should be okay. We'll get a bit of healing with those orbs. And then LR cooler ideally will die this turn. So that we can revive. That's the ideal scenario. But in fact, it's even better if if we live. Because on the next turn, I'll just use a sensu bean. Either way, this cell will give us a little bit of healing. Not that we need too much of it, but I'll take what we can get. Gamma one is he supporting the whole rotation, or does he only support super allies? I'm not sure. Hopefully, he supports the whole rotation. Because that little bit of extra defense. Would be quite significant right now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, he's 100k for Gamma 1. Yeah, he needs the links, bro. He needs the links. To be fair, though, he's only getting 130% from LR Super Baby. Uh, how much will he take, though? Will he die or will he survive? I wouldn't really mind either way, to be honest. Um, I think he lives. Yeah, easy. Yeah, easy. And then now, I think... Should I activate a sense of being... Uh, I might not need to, to be fair. I'll put Baby Janemba slot 1. Put Super Boo slot 3, whatever he's called, Skinny Boo slot 3. I will use a Sensu Bean, but we are going to have to rely on dodge. If we don't dodge, <laughs> if we don't dodge, 
<laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's not funny. If we don't dodge with that, like, straight up, it's not funny. Why, why are you? Why are you laughing? It's not funny. Okay, good. Now he's got a sixty-two percent chance to die. Are you? Huh? Huh? And the fraud of the episode is Baby Janemba. Now, all jokes aside, this unit has actually aged well merely because of his dodge. Because with this unit, he starts off with a 50% chance to dodge, and then every time you dodge an attack in the turn, he gets an extra 12% chance to dodge that only lasts for that turn. So for example, with the first attack, he's got a 50% chance to dodge, and if you dodge the first one, for the second one, it will be 62 and then if you dodge that, for the next one it will be 74 and so on and so forth. So his dodge chance increases with each dodge that only lasts for that one turn. So because of that he's actually quite decent. Well, for how old he is he's quite decent because as you saw, he can't take hits. Even off normals after he supered, he was taking close to 300k. And then off a super attack, he took over a million. So if I could rebuild this guy, I would give him full dodge. Right now, I've only got him at 13 dodge, which is okay, but more dodge would be better. He's one of the better Dragon Ball hero units, but that's just because most of them suck, and he's got dodge, and dodging units are probably better than the other ones, generally speaking. They certainly age better, that's for sure. I am looking forward to the Dragon Ball hero celebration this year, but hopefully they actually make it good this year. Hopefully they actually make the units good this year, and hopefully they age well. We'll see what they do. I'm looking forward to it to a degree. As a bare minimum, at least LR Goku Black Rose is confirmed to be coming to Global. And by the time you're watching this, he'll already be out on Global and JP. So, I've got that to look forward to, I guess. With that said, let's do a quick subscriber challenge. If you guys are excited for LR Goku Black Rose's Easy A coming to Global, then you have to subscribe because that is the challenge. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you just failed that challenge because that is indeed the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta, adios and bye-bye.